That's an 18-year-old Post Malone, surrounded by some of the biggest names in Minecraft during their peak in 2014. It's Leon DiCino. But how did he get here, and why are they all calling him DiCino? Post Malone is one of the most famous and recognizable music artists of our generation, with five separate songs, each crossing the 1 billion view mark on YouTube alone. Malone's cross-platform views are in the tens of billions, if not higher. But Post Malone's career could have taken a dramatically divergent path if just a few things were different. In another timeline, it's likely Post Malone would be one of a hundred other Minecraft YouTubers, probably working on 100-day videos or Let's Play videos. So, what happened? And how is Post Malone involved with Minecraft? This is the story of Post Malone's secret Minecraft career. At the age of 14, a young Austin Post would land on the stage name that he would stick with for the rest of his musical career, putting his last name at the front and using a random word generator to get the Malone on the back. The stage name of Post Malone was now born. All the way back in 2010, at the age of 15, Austin was starting to take the guitar seriously after he got into the game Guitar Hero. I play guitar. I started making my beats. Now you started learn how to play guitar off a of Guitar Hero. Yeah, that's what I got. That's <laughs> why. That I, I, I don't know. That's what you know. <laughs> it's good for something. So he auditioned for Crown the Empire, a metalcore band. However, he was rejected after his string broke during his performance. Austin got another chance later in the year when he had the opportunity to perform at the Fat Daddy's soundtrack, a teenage-friendly music venue with no alcohol, smoking, or drugs. <laughs> For the teenagers who play here, they are rock stars at least for a day. And they do have groupies. Fat Daddy's soundtrack gave him and his friends the opportunity to perform their metalcore songs in front of a crowd, where Post Malone can be seen with a mop on his head and a guitar in his hand. Whatever you want to say about their skill, it sure does look like they're having a lot of fun. Fat Daddy's soundtrack eventually closed down, but Post Malone's passion for music was here to stay. The next year, at 16, Malone started using Audacity to work on his first mixtape, Young and After Them Riches. The full mixtape was never released, but the one song out there definitely showcases his strong ability to rap. Austin shared the mixtape with some of his friends at Grapevine High School, where he was voted as most likely to become famous. Shocker, right? By 17, Austin was making more music under the alter ego Leon DiCino, who some people call Pre Malone. He can also be seen wearing jean shorts in the hilariously retro song, Why Don't You Love Me? Leon DiCino eventually retired, posting just this one song, and Post moved on to school, where he briefly attended Tarrant County College, and then quickly dropped out to pursue his love of music. Luckily, while Austin was in high school, he made an important connection with his friend Jason who is renting a house in the LA area. None other than the owner of Minecraft Universe, Jason Probst, a popular Minecraft streamer, musician, and YouTuber who is doing incredibly well during this period of time. So I moved to LA with my good friend Jason, and he is such a beautiful fucking man, and he gave me, Jason gave me fucking everything. Jason was an avid music fan and often used his Minecraft YouTube channel to promote his remixes and other original songs. However, Jason really drew attention when he was among the three founding members of Team Crafted with Deadlocks and Sky Does Minecraft. Shortly after, Team Crafted would be joined by Mitch from Bahain Canadian, Jerome ASF, Sunday, Kermit Plays Minecraft, Seto Sorcerer, Husky Mudkips, and others. This team was like the Avengers of Minecraft, with some of the most popular YouTubers making content under one team and soon under one roof. Around the same time, Post Malone and Jason joined several other producers and artists in creating a music group called Black Art. This new music group, as well as the success from Team Crafted, led the team to purchase a mansion in LA, which was to become a creative hub for Minecraft content creation, live vlogs, and other creative works. Eggs. 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 If you followed Team Crafted, you likely remember some of the live videos that were filmed at this location. Wait, this is Scott, this is, okay. Oh God. Oh my God. Run away. Run away. <laughs> in the 2012s and 2013s, there was a surge in Minecraft music, mainly by Team Crafted members, Sky Does Minecraft, Baja and Canadian, Minecraft Universe. They were all creating music related to Minecraft, and in retrospect, 
These songs were some of the greatest hits of their career, being the most popular videos on many of their channels. While Minecraft-based music obviously did not command the respect or prestige of other forms of music, such as hip-hop or rock and roll, the number of views in this space were on par with some of the largest music talents in the world. And it was all made by teenagers with no record labels or expensive production costs. Post Malone was right at the epicenter of it, taking inspiration from the music being made and the money being earned, as well as offering his own critiques and input in the creative process. While he had not yet honed his own musical skills to the level they are now, Austin was an impressive singer and performer even at this stage. I get on my track and stay However, this path took dedication and hard work for Malone. According to Sky Does Minecraft, Post Malone was even living out of his own closet at one point. Was Post Malone living in your closet, man? Dude, he, it was, okay, so first off, it didn't start with him living in the closet. He moved first into all, the closet. Story. Yeah, I was gonna say, that was, that's a hell of a story. It's oh a, boy. He passed. If I had Post Malone sleeping in my closet, that'd be a story I'd be telling for years, despite not being a formal member of Team Crafted Team. Likely due to his lack of Minecraft channel, Post Malone was still able to leverage the attention and publicity that living in this popular streamer's house afforded to him. This allowed him to show up on Team Crafted streams dozens of times, including during many live vlogs and other group events. For example, in late 2013, Sky Does Minecraft posted a spontaneous trick-or-treat video where Post Malone could be seen laying on the bed, pointing out how odd it is to make a Halloween trick-or-treat video days before Halloween. It's literally not Halloween yet. Who the fuck writes this? These vlogs caused a lot of former Minecraft fans to have an uncanny feeling upon seeing Post Malone's music. They knew the face and voice from somewhere familiar, but couldn't quite put their finger where it came from. Many comments in this video point out how they remembered Austin as a random guy in Sky's video, but no one expected him to turn into the rock star Post Malone. Austin was able to use his time in the house to perform musical covers on live streams, such as this clip from 2013, where he covers a song by Queen on Minecraft Universe's stream. You can guess what it is. Be the first to guess that you win. Unfortunately for Austin, Team Crafted's position as the premier Minecraft group was starting to show problems. In August of 2013, Seto started coming into conflict with Bahan Canadian and others. Saying that I am Seto Sorcerer for those who forgot, and despite contrary belief, I'm in fact not dead, um, but honestly death seems like it was the easy way out compared to what I have to say in this video. Um. Team Crafted members wanted the group to be a true team, where they would engage in vlogs, public events, and other in-person recordings. However, Seto was not interested in this, and wanted to remain primarily an online creator with his identity, face, and name hidden. This of kicking me was from an objective standpoint for business opportunities, and as my channel being the smallest, and the fact that I liked my privacy, they felt that it didn't work well with the advertising companies coming to Team Crafted as a whole. The rift between Seto and Team Crafted culminated in Seto being kicked from the group upon a vote, thus causing controversy because it signaled to viewers that Team Crafted was more about money than the friendships that were being portrayed. And no longer part of Team Crafted. I will explain most things in detail, but pretty much what it came down to was Mitch sparking a vote with the other guys within the group on August 12th of this year, and everyone but Ty decided to vote me out. Seto's video said that he was depressed from being kicked and felt it was unjust that he was being removed without any warning. Seto also said that Deadlocks was the only member of the group who tried to stand up for him. In direct correlation of being kicked, I have had two major depressions over the issue, uh, most recent being last month as a lot of you can already tell. Skyda's Minecraft left the team shortly after, saying he was on good terms with the members and leaving for no other reason though he later signaled that it was due to the drama and commercialization of the group. Deadlocks also left on the same day, saying that he was with Sky. This kicked off a wave of resignations among the team crafted. Their animator, Blue Money, was gone on the same day, saying it made no sense for a Let's Play group to have an animator. Husky Mudkips left the next day, with the reason being that he wanted to grow on his own. The next week, Team Crafted lost another animator, Weed Lion, as well as their artist, Deceptive Bonk. Next, Jerome, the self-described co-owner, was gone, essentially causing the end of Team Crafted. By the end of March, with more than half the team gone, Team Crafted was essentially dead. Luckily, Post Malone made some connections in the music world before this ticking time bomb came to an end. 
and he also retained his close friendship with Jason. While living at the house, he met up with the recording producers FKI First and Sloss Lord Rich, who formed the production team FKI. Malone also met up with the producer Rex Kudo. After being introduced by FKI, Austin was now surrounded by talented record producers in the city. These four started making magic shortly after meeting, which was shown to the world in early 2015. Post Malone borrowed Jason's car to go to the studio in the Palisades, where he and the three producers he just met started working on the new song, White Iverson. I remember saying, hey Jason, man, can I take the car out? Like, can I please take your car to go stay at the studio? And so we would go and stay at the studio and I remember cutting that record. This song was recorded in just two days and released to SoundCloud in early 2015. No one could have believed the success the single would have. White Iverson was a near instant hit. And you post it on SoundCloud and how soon do people start listening to this song? Like Instantly. Like, White Iverson generated millions of views and got the attention of Republic Records, who signed the young rapper and starting assisting him with the release of his new album. Rex Kudo would go on to produce Go Flex for the new album, and Austin would recruit many other producers and artists with the production of his new album, Stoney. Upon its release in 2016, Stoney debuted at number six on the Billboard 200, later earning five platinum awards and generating billions of views. Songs like Congratulations, Too Young, and others went on to be smash hits, propelling Austin to the top of the hip hop world. While Post Malone never did much concrete success in Minecraft, his connections with Jason and the team Crafted House were the first cause in a long chain of events that lifted this average musician into a household name. It's possible that without Minecraft, Post Malone would have never met these producers, never made White Iverson, and never had this fruitful music career that he enjoys to this day. Today, Post continues to make music and is grateful for the support his peers in Minecraft provided him. And Minecraft Universe is still posting Minecraft videos, likely looking at Post Malone with great pride for what his friend was able to accomplish. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or learned something new, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the video on screen.